Our last trade of the day tests this theory. Dow Industrials and Transports making fresh highs today. Is this traditionally bullish technical phenomenon a sign to buy? Dan Fitzpatrick of StockMarketMentor.com is a chart master. And Dan, is this a clear buy signal? Is it writing on the wall? Yes, I think it is. And the deal is, though, there's a couple caveats. First of all, we need to see more volume. We also need to see the Dow, uh, the Dow Industrials test their breakout. They just broke out today. The trannies have already done that. They've moved up to a new high, came back to retest that, got the last chance for romance buyers, and now they're up again. The Dow Industrials haven't quite done that yet, so it's still a little bit early. But look for volume. Also look for the IYF. We need to see the financials making a new high because that's a greater percentage of the Dow Jones Industrial Average than it used to be. So that's what I'm seeing. Let's say we see all those uh, signals line up and the stars align and all that nonsense. What level do we see next on the Dow? What's our next stop higher? Oh gosh, I don't like to pick levels this early in the th this early in the process, but I think you know. 13, 1400. If this is a buy signal, that's going to get all these shorts all wrapped around the axle, and they're going to start buying instead just to unwind the trade because it's no longer working. Hey, Dan, it's Mackie. First of all, kudos on the Donna Summer last chance for romance reference. Nice. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I, I gave away my age. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, I gave away my age by knowing what you're talking about. The finances, <laughs> are they ahead of themselves in terms of it's basically we're trading kind of a downdraft. They've been moving back sharply. Can we be secure in the bottom there? You mentioned them not making new highs. What convinces you? It's, you know, I need to see the IYF do exactly what the Dow uh, Industrials did today, and that's break this short-term high. I'll be honest, I hate the financials because I don't understand them, and I think half the people that say they do really don't. There's so many potential bombs out there, and I look at the weekly charts on just about all these things, and they're still in downtrends, and I don't know whether this congestion is a bottom or if it's just a way station on the way to lower lows. In terms of the transports, the tell for me was March 20th in FedEx. They reported their third quarter. The stock traded down to 83, wound up closing that day unchanged. It's trading 97 now. I got fast-fired last week about it. But you know what? I'll stick to my guns on this one. I love FedEx in the second half. I think the stock trades 110, 115. And UPS, after guiding lower and basically missing, trading down to 70, it's right back up to 72 and F73. I think these names set up really well for the second half of this year. So I love the transports. I, still. I, I, I agree. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I agree. Look, the rail, this has been a railroad rally on the transports. We've got a weak dollar, lots of exports. That's what's driving this right now. So it'll be good to see UPS, et cetera, et cetera, uh, catch up. That's really a good sign. Dan, it's Karen. I got a question for you. The transports, when they had broken out before, how does that compare to when the economy actually bottoms out? Are these a good tell for the end of a recession or not really? Yeah, they, they actually are. The market always looks forward, but uh, and it tends to anticipate. My rule of thumb has always been like six months, uh, and so that's what I that's what I'm seeing. If we get uh, a breakout confirmation on the industrials, I would really be looking for a pickup in the economy towards the end of this year. And can the transports break out with oil breaking out? I mean, to me, the, the no doubt about it chart of all time is crude. If that pulls back to 110, it seems like it just has this incredible uptrend and it wants to go parabolic. Can the transports work in that environment? I, I think they can. I think they can. Fair Again, enough. we've got a weak dollar. And that's, you know, that, and of course, that's the deal with the oil. They move, uh, you know, opposite each other. So, yeah, I think as long as our exports are doing well, we're good. All right, Dan, got to leave it there. Thanks so much for your time. Bottom line here, according to the chart man, big buy signal on our hands. And that is how to trade tomorrow.